mixed with each other. It's very common to see them Only together. Only yeah. 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 More than other cultures. Yeah. Yes. But what about other foreign communities? So we do it like when I lived in London, I also had Italian friends. Uh -huh. So that's normal. But I also had a lot of friends that were not Italian. Uh -huh. And I see this less in Chinese. People don't know much about China. Yeah. They have like all the countries in Asia are all the same. All the food and yeah. the behavior. They think like that's small, that's all the same people. They think it's just one big culture. It's just lots of people and that's all. For example, yeah, I have my sister right now in Hong Kong and yeah. I'm here the weekend and they think we can meet each other. I was like, no way, like that's way too far. Just check them out. They're like, oh really? <laughs> they know, oh, yeah, so that's, that's a big country. Hard workers. Really, really smart than hard workers. Serious, they follow trends. They're always like different from all of the rest with their style. So what's the image of China before you came to China? They produce everything. They have everything. You produce everything. And everything is made in China. Copy. Made in China. Copy. Copy is also very Copy. famous from the past. China is also ramping up with new technologies. So. They all bring the cameras. Yeah. Take, take a lot photos. Of pictures, they and like they Germany, shop a lot. Copy. And they get the tax back. A bit more materialistic. In France, we, we think American and Chinese are quite similar. In New York, there's like a very, in Chinatown, it's very concentrated. Uh -huh. There's like a real Chinese community that feels mm. separate from yeah. the rest of New York in a lot of ways. Okay. Maybe the personal space between people is very different. People are very comfortable sort of Being getting close, close to, to one another, where in America, there's it's, a bit yeah. of distance. Oh. Those people that maybe have traveled and experienced China know something about the advancement, how fast they're improving and growing. But some people would only have their reference points from, say, yeah. Chinese restaurants in the UK. It's also maybe oh. think of China more like Hong Kong. That kind of communal work ethic is probably stronger here. What's the image of Chinese people in your own country before you came to China? What I see also from you, Chinese is like so much transition, so much movement. Chinese people in 10 years ago is yeah. not at all the same and today. France also, but not such a big That's difference. Aspect. If things need to be changed, I see it can be done quickly. I don't ah. know, in China. Disposable thing. Like yeah. I drink my bubble tea and yeah. I put just like for the cap and after I will eat something else in another plastic thing. They usually appear in bulk and then yeah. they walk really slow. Really? That's the stereotype in Canada. They eat with open mouths. They usually like tend to be a bit louder than Westerners. They they have great food. It's way better than Canadian food. Uh, Very intelligent. Bad table manners, I would say, because they are always eating like this. Making noise. So in Germany you are teach to uh, that the food is coming to your mouth and yeah. you're sitting like this. Okay. And in China you are eating like this. So uh, as a child you are always um, getting told like don't do this. Oh. And here you're coming to China and you know like, okay, here it's the table manner. To yeah. Like this. Quieter, yeah. more studious, uh -huh. strict parents, uh -huh. one child. So what's the image of Chinese people in your own country? Yeah. In the US, yeah. there's a very hot and cold relationship with China uh -huh. in many ways. Like, there are a lot yeah. of people who are fascinated by China, by Chinese culture, by yeah. Chinese cuisine. But there are also people who I think worry. There's like a competition yeah. between the US and China. Like who is more powerful, who is okay. more politically important, who is uh -huh. more economically important. So that I think can bring some tension. Sometimes I think people feel like they might be insular. Like Chinese people like are in a new country but they stay with Chinese people. Okay. So they tend to make friends with other Chinese people, marry other Chinese people and kind of oh. form a miniature community within a community. It may feel sometimes like it's hard to approach such a group or yeah. get into such a group if you were not already from China. Um. But on like an individual level, I think people are just as friendly, just as likely to reach out and make friends. In Europe, you go to like all these fancy shops and yeah. there's like Chinese people with like buying luxury items. Yeah. It's like, oh, they're so wealthy or like mm. there are so many students studying abroad and they yeah. drive really fancy cars. What do you think the main difference of Chinese couple and couple from Western countries? Huh? If you've got a Shanghainese wife, she's like the man in the family. She's wearing the trousers, we say. We are more thinking to let our children leave the home. Whereas uh, I think Chinese couples maybe would like to keep yeah. them and nurse them a bit. Like a lot of my friends with yeah. a certain age, they um, always end up being like, well, my mom has set me up with so-and-so and, -so and uh, now we're like getting married. Your parents never set you up for any? Never. And they always like kind of just let me go with what I felt. Even though maybe they think, okay, it's the age of getting married. They never felt. There was a hate. Here there's more of like a standard of perfect way to look. In Western cultures it's more open to different body types. You can see the beauty in each. What do you think the one standard kind? Super oh. thin, white oh. skin, face the shape of a sunflower seed. Come to restaurant, yeah. they never give you a menu. Yeah. Or they start to talk to the guy first. In okay. the Western culture it's more attention for ladies. If I go with my male friend yeah. and they start to pay too much attention to him, oh. he always say ladies first. In China, ladies first, it doesn't really come. Oh.
like Chinese guys they're not that attractive to Western girls. I think the size is, is a big factor. The height. What do you think of Chinese guys? They are great. Very romantic, very oh. generous. Oh. They like to cook, spend time at home. Very family oriented. It lacks a bit of masculinity. It's nice to have this femininity inside, but I see a bit too sweet, too soft. So it doesn't make me feel like, like a man. They are close. They are close. They are very shy. It's, it's difficult, difficult to initiate a yeah. conversation. Chinese men have more of a traditional opinion about women that Western girls don't agree with. Why do you just, just get home? A lot of women say Chinese men are the yeah. best husband you can have. They do oh, everything really? for the women. Okay, so would you consider having a Chinese boyfriend? I would if I wasn't getting married. <laughs> Because yeah. here, in general, people are smaller. Most of the guys here are shorter than me. So that would be something that I consider. I am open. I don't have a problem. What's like your favorite place that you've ever traveled? Kulin, it's very beautiful. Hongzhou, ah. the bamboo and the lake, yes. the mountain, ah. the minorities, yeah, the, the clothes are the... very authentic. Ah. I like, you know, beautiful mountains, beautiful uh. scenery, lots of quiet. Yangshua was Yangshua. pretty. Uh -huh. yeah. I like the countryside and I like the, the people. Uh -huh. They're not worried about money so much. They uh -huh. like company, they like food. Yeah. Xi'an province. I think the people are very easygoing, very yeah. nice, very smiling. Uh -huh. Xi'an is also very nice. Uh -huh. And yeah, people were just genuinely friendly. And Yellow mountain, you can climb, and there's monkeys. I love the wall in Beijing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more like Hutong in ah, Beijing. Uh -huh. Chupan, really beautiful trekking, and they had uh, old poems written by like people many many years ago on the ah. rocks. Yeah. Yeah. So it ah. kind of has that Muslim, yeah. and the food there is amazing. Uh. Stop for pedestrians, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it was great. The landscape was mm -hmm. just impressive. You can't yeah. believe it, yeah. it's like being in a movie. Have you ever ordered food online? Oh. Ulama, that's what I've used a lot. Oh. They're amazing, excellent, top marks. No negative things to say about it. Really? <laughs> it's all really convenient. Yeah, the translation in English, please. <laughs> all the famous oh. are uh, just in Chinese. Uh. Difficult for us to understand. What's it like in the US? Do you use that a lot? There is a service like yeah. this. Food Panda, there's Kangaroo, mm -hmm. there's Caviar, but I think it's not used as much. People think it's a little bit.